Anje Rukenura is one of the latest refugees from the volatile Democratic Republic of Congo to arrive at the Rwamwanja refugee settlement in Kamwenge district in western Uganda. The 24-year-old arrived at Mahani Refugee Reception Center in Rwamwanja refugee settlement last month alongside her seven siblings. They were forced to flee their home in eastern DRC after a known gunman attacked their home in the night, killed their mother and abducted their father. <laughs> One of the soldiers broke into our bedroom and took me to my parents' bedroom. They raped my mother while I was seeing and stabbed her to death. My father was handcuffed and taken away. The memory of that night's horror is still fresh on her mind. <laughs> Luckily, the killers of Rukenura's mother spared her and her siblings, and she's grateful that they are still alive. However, they had to walk for hundreds of kilometers eastwards to the border between Uganda and DRC, where they were finally settled at Mahani Refugee Reception Center in Rwamwanja Refugee Settlement. Rukenura and her seven siblings will remain here until they are allocated a piece of land to put up a simple structure to house them, just like other refugees who have been here in Uganda for a while now. At the time of leaving the DRC, she was finalizing her secondary school studies and had hoped to become a doctor, but has now assumed a new responsibility of taking care of her seven siblings and is uncertain about what the future holds for her. She told NTV she does not want to ever return to her home in Democratic Republic of Congo. It is better for me to live and die here in Uganda than going back to DRC and witness my siblings suffering. <laughs> There are over 99,000 refugees living in Rwamwanja refugee settlement, most of them from the DRC. This number forms part of the over 1.7 million refugee population in Uganda, making the country the biggest refugee hosting country in Africa. The Ugandan government is struggling to sustain this huge refugee population due to dwindling funds. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Filippo Grandi, who is in Uganda for official visit, says a collective effort is needed to address the situation. If we're lucky, we get 60% funded, but we would need much more. That's what I'm saying. How do we fill all this gap? This is why we need to mobilize development assistance. There are many crises, that's for sure. Sudan, Lebanon. Gaza, Ukraine, Somalia, that's the competition that makes that this amount of money gets thinner because it has to be spread in so many parts of the world. Now, Netherlands is considering to send a group of rejected African asylum seekers and illegal migrants to Uganda, something that could burden the country even more. We are struggling with over 1.7 million refugees here alone. We have not asked any country to offload those refugees in those other countries. <laughs> Why should someone now ask refugees, they have only 100,000 or whatever, they want to offload on Uganda. Why? Is that rational? I don't think it's rational. We haven't discussed this government, but as I'm expressing my view, this is my personal view. It is not the way to go, in my view. I don't think we shall accept it. Daniel Kibet, NTV.